Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do a video about Poshmark and how we do our business. That way, you know, if there's anybody out there there that wants to learn how to do Poshmark or is even interested in opening their own closet, uh, this video will help you out. I hope this helps you and uh, it clears any questions you have because I know when we started we didn't know any of it so I hope this video helps you and I want to show you step by step of our process from beginning to end just so you know so this is a family business it's something we do as a family both my mom and my sister we all work together we do divide our uh, jobs just because I do live an hour and a half away from my mom and my sister. So we do divide the jobs. And that is why I kind of want to show you guys today. But you could definitely do it all by yourself if you, uh, if you want to. Step number one would be is go through your closet. Get everything that you haven't worn in a long time. That doesn't fit you. That you know for sure you don't like it anymore and post that and sell that clothes once you sell that clothes the money you earned you're gonna invest it in towards your business which means you're gonna go to a thrift store anywhere you want to get clothes from and buy clothes with that money you earned that way you're not investing any money of your own pocket that is how it's going to work for you. Number two would be wash all your clothes. And then if you see any of them that are wrinkly, you want to steam them as much as you can. Because we are going to take pictures. We're going to measure. And you want to make it as presentable as possible. The steamer I got, it, I got it from Amazon. I will link everything down below, including these lights, uh, the steamer, and the mannequin, everything that I found from Amazon, I will link it down below. Number three is taking pictures. So you want to make sure you use natural lighting if you don't have any lights. And then also you want to use a mannequin if you have it. But if you don't, you could just use a hanger, hang it, and take the pictures. You don't have to invest on all of this, you know, when you first start. You want to invest on it once you actually make a profit out of your clothes that you sell my sister is in charge of pictures she's uh very good at taking pictures so that is what she's doing when she has her own little setup she did and my mom helped her uh, build it so if you guys want to see how they built that setup let me know leave me a comment down below and i'll have them recreate it and show you how to do it is very inexpensive first uh, tip I want to give you guys is make sure you take as many pictures as you can the more the better because that way you have as much information in your pictures and your descriptions because you don't want people to be guessing oh it might fit me it might not fit me how does the sleeves look is it a you know over the shoulder shirt you know is it is the straps adjustable are they not so you want to make sure you take as many pictures as you can that's why my sister takes pictures in the mannequin and as well on the table because the one she takes on the table is more precise is more detailed as you see we take pictures of the the tags we take pictures like um this actual vlog uh shirt actually has an adjustable straps so we want our customers to know that and also it has a second layer. So we want them to get as much information as possible. That way they don't have any doubt. Because personally, when you go to a store, you you know, you see it, you touch it, you you um you try it on and shopping online is a little bit more difficult just because you don't know and you're not seeing it. So the step number four is you want to measure. What we like to do is measure the length from the straps all the way to the bottom. And then also from armpit to armpit, we say pit to pit. Step number five is opening your Poshmark account. You want to open it and you want to scroll all the way down to where it says sell. And then you're going to go into the little envelope on the side, on the left side. Go into your pictures and click the pictures that you want to upload. 
just by clicking on them it'll give you a little check mark and that will let you know which ones you have picked put next and then right here you want to crop all your pictures make sure that all the pictures are centered and just click on the bottom uh, pictures to go to the next picture so you can fix it and adjust it you could uh, pinch the picture make it bigger make it smaller make it fit on the camera uh, on the center of it it's really important uh, because you don't want to have a picture that's you know crooked or you can't even see the picture correctly you can't even see the dress correctly or it's cutting you know a part of it um in the bottom or the sleeve so you want to make sure it everything's cropped correctly and once you're done with that one you're just gonna put the next here it's gonna ask you for the cover page so you want to make sure you pick the one that's facing forward and here you can actually adjust the filter look for one that looks the best uh, you're gonna put next and then you, this is where you're gonna put your title here you want to make sure you put the brand the the clothing brand that you have and a very good description of the item that you have because that is what people are gonna see in the bottom of the picture that you have so this one's gonna give them the most information that they can like I said make sure you put as much information that way they can see every little detail of it and the little trick for you is highlight everything you put on your title copy it and then go into your description and put paste it's exactly the same uh title at the beginning because it's the same item and then here is where you're gonna put everything that you want to describe your item by color by any little details it adjusts the the top uh second layer the design um the and you also want to put the length that you put um uh, that you measured your items this is where you're gonna put it you're also gonna put like depends if it's like 100 percent cotton 100 uh, percent um any type of material that your item is this is where you're gonna want to put it a lot of people don't put a lot of descriptions on their items but personally we love to do that because that way it gives uh the customer every detail that they can they can get from the item that you're selling and then once you once you do that you put done after that it's going to take you back to the home one it's going to take you to select categories and this is where you're going to select what type of uh item you're selling if it's for women men kids anything like that so you want to click the blouse and it's going to take you back and it's going to select the quantity you could put one if you only have one and then you're going to select the size um this is the size that the shirt is the brand uh sometimes you'll find it sometimes you won't so you want you might want to research it and then after you do that it's gonna uh you could enter the color and this is where it only allows you to pick two colors so sometimes uh it has a couple more just put it on the description and then it's gonna ask you the original price for us personally we always keep it at zero and then we put the uh, listing amount and then you put list and it's going to take you back to your home page once it took you to your home page uh, you could see it by clicking on the corner um of the page where it says anaya gals you're going to click there and you're going to be able to see my closet and then click on the closet and it gives you the picture of the one you just listed you click on it you scroll all the way down You'll see all the pictures that you edit this is where you kind of want to see if you missed something you could always go back and edit it and then this is where you'll see the price the title the description everything that you just filled out so i hope this helped you guys um a little bit just to navigate a little bit of the of the app and this is it's actually our closet we have 223 list listings and um this i'm just kind of showing you a little bit of what we have in our closet just in case you're interested i'll leave it down below that way you can go and shop our closet if you're interested it has a little bit of everything um so yeah so like i have said we each have different jobs and my job is to do inventory since i have space in my house so what i do is i have big boxes with each 
labeled with the alphabet and so in, in this case I'm going to use the B and I have these numbers that I bought from Amazon and that is what I use to keep my inventory organized so what I do is I also have these bags that I bought from Walmart and that is what I use to wrap uh, my clothing with and so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to write down the name of the item in this inventory sheet that I have this notebook that I have and so all I have to do is write down the number that I'm going to use and once I have that done then I'm going to use those bags to wrap my clothing in it make sure it's sealed I used to actually close it with tape in the back but I actually don't do that anymore because sometimes people have questions and I have to rip it and then I have to redo the whole thing again. So what I do is I just fold it in the back and then uh, just put a label on it and I mean not the label, the number on it and that is it for that bag. And then the next thing I do is I just put it in the uh, box that I want to organize it in. And then once I do that, I make sure I close it and I put it back in the shelf. That way I have all of my boxes organized. And I honestly, like this is the last item I'm going to put in this box because it's actually really filled. And then once I do that, then I go back into my Poshmark account. And then I click on the shirt, I put edit. And then I go into the description and I skip a couple lines and I write down... B for the box, 194 for the number that I put. And then that way when I sell it, um, I could just scroll all the way down and it tell me what box I have the item and the number that I'm looking. Just in case I can't find the item, then I have the number. We actually got an order and I wanted to uh, show you guys my process of sending a package as well. Because honestly, it's also very important. So my part is to ship everything and keep an inventory of everything that we have. So um, right now, I'm just uh, getting ready. I wash my hands, sanitize my hand, and I sanitize my whole space as well. And, and then like this one, all, all I do is I label every single um, piece of clothing. And so we sold this little piece of uh, dress for a little girl. And all I'm doing is guys, I'm taking out the stuff I'm going to pack it with. I like to insert a little scrunchie for every order that we get. Just because, you know, if you don't have anything that matches your clothing that you just recently got, we got you girls, we, uh, we send a, a little scrunchie so it matches your outfit. And then the next thing I want to do is I wrap the item and I want to make it feel like if you got a present. Even if it's for yourself or for your daughter, for your husband. Um, I like to wrap it like if you're getting a present. So that is what I'm doing. Um, so I like to make sure that I put the same, about the same color of the clothing as well. I like to everything to match, if it makes sense. I don't know. To me, it's like pleasing for you to see that um, somebody actually took care or took time to do this. And then all you do is you put a thank you uh, sticker. This we got at um, Amazon and these little baggies I got from Dollar Tree. And that is where I'm going to put the little scrunchie. And then I just put it um, inside and then make a personal note. Um, I actually uh, write them down before um, I send the, the item. That way it's personal. And I took the time to, you know, thank our customers that um, decided to shop from our closet and then I also decided to put in some stickers because I know it's for a little girl so kids always love stickers my daughter loves stickers that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any other questions please leave a comment down below I will be sure to answer it thank you so much for watching I really hope this helped you in any way thank you see you next time bye, bye.